Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew, and welcome back to Dirty Bomb. Lots of interesting and cool changes to this game, changes that we've been waiting for for a very long time. In the background here, you'll be seeing me unbox all my cases and do a handful of cobalt and gold trade-ups. And this one's taking a little bit longer than expected, but uh, yeah, I get a pretty decent... Amy card from the detective case in case you guys don't know if you log in anytime from now between uh, What was it between now between May 19th through the 23rd you can unlock a special detective case pretty decent loadout here, but um Yeah, I guess before I get too much into the patch notes I want to talk to you guys about my trade-ups and my unboxings cuz uh Cuz it's not good <laughs> at least the trade-ups the trade-ups weren't exactly great um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Here I get the R22 Turbo Close Assault for Proxy, or the uh, R2D2 loadout as I like to call it. Probably the best loadout for a proxy of the Gen 1 cards. This is, uh, it made it into Gen 2, so you know it's good. Not too bad of a loadout, I'm happy with the skin. And, uh, yeah, oh, in case if you guys are wondering, I will be kind of showcasing these loadouts in the gameplay following. So you guys can kind of see what they all look like in first person now. In the culprit, I didn't get the uh, a lock on loadout, which would have been nice. I would have loved that Holland's loadout next to it, but I get a subpar Hotch or Hawk Fear loadout here, KE 53. Not exactly optimal, but the skin is nice, I guess. Um, this isn't live, by the way. For those who are confused, this is not live. I did not want to record this live because. Um, you guys would have heard all of my emotions, and I would have been very sad and crying and sobbing. As you guys will see, you guys will see what happens. Anyways, so, yeah, lots of cool changes. As you guys can kind of see here, I'm kind of trading up for a Cobalt Kira, trying to go for the Katana Stark Explodey Dendron loadout. You know, I figured that would be the best one, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of debating here. I, of course, get this one here. You guys will see. I'm like... Thinking about it, uh, get a dry loadout, which is not a bad loadout. You know, it's not a bad loadout by any means. It's actually quite good. It's just I really wanted a Stark loadout on Kira, so I, you know, go back, go for the trade in for my two loadout cards for Kira. Uh, they're both pretty good cards. You know, these are pretty good loadouts, and look what I get. Yeah. At this point, I was kind of in denial, uh, very upset, very salty, felt a little sick to my stomach. Same exact color, even. <sighs> this just keeps happening to me. So you won't even believe what happens next. So I go and I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to waste all my silvers, dump them into Kira cards. Look what happens next. I can't even make this shit up. Look. Um, and yeah, it's incredible. So here we go. All right, Stark loadout. Not the one I wanted, but let's go for another gold. And the exact same loadouts. But hold on guys, it gets better. It gets way better. <laughs> you can't even make this shit up guys. Um, yes, it is a Stark loadout, and yes, it is probably a really good one. But you know, I wanted that katana. So I go in for another Cobalt. And it's oh, it, this one's okay, this one's not too bad. Um, it is a Stark loadout. Was kind of bummed about it because it has Enigma, but it turns out that Drilled and Bomb Squad are actually quite nice, so I'll take it. Anyways, uh, this last case was just from the Expert case. You guys can get one Expert case every single day from May 19th through the 31st. It's kind of nice, actually. Hopefully I get some Cobalts to replenish my supplies. Now moving on to the patch notes section, I figured I would structure this as sort of my opinions on key different things in the patch notes. So I'm not going to go through every single little thing. Um, first and foremost, Thunder vs. Phantom, my initial thoughts, uh, Thunder, poor guy, his concussion grenades are, uh, are pretty neutered right now. I feel like the changes to the actual effects are what they should have been this whole time. Right, but the removal of the EMP effect really, really kind of messes him up. Um, I'm not saying they should take it away from Phantom. Just you know, figure out something for concussion grenades, man. Like give it back the EMP effect, or give it something else. I'm not exactly sure what yet. I'll probably come up with a solution later down the line. Phantom, his EMP ability is not that bad actually, because the field you can actually see where it ends, and it's. A pretty humongous radius. Uh, the only tweaks I would say is kind of what I've been saying before. Separate the ability from the cloak. Don't make it like an automatic turn on thing because um, it, it 
really feels one dimensional. You can't really sneak past enemies. You don't have the flexibility of turning it on and off. And I feel like it makes untrackable kind of useless. You can pretty much always run over a mind as Phantom as long as you have your cloak on. Uh, I just feel like separating those two different abilities will open up a lot more doors. So Phantom with the MP is okay. Like I, I'm not opposed to the idea. I kind of like it because you know it's pretty you know team friendly or whatever. I just feel like taking away from Thunder really kind of fucks him up. Uh, fucks Thunder up. Kind of what I've been saying this whole time, but I figured I would give you guys my impressions of it after actually playing these two heroes. Now let's talk a little bit about Fletcher. A lot of people have been wanting a nerf for him. I personally thought he was okay, but I'm probably biased because I love playing Fletcher. But a lot of people were like, oh my god, he got a buff because his direct stickies do 15 extra damage now. So it's like 115 damage. That's not actually the case, guys. That's not actually the case. His sticky bombs will do 85, but you'll get the 100 if you get the direct stick. So, yeah, it's a nerf. And, and I think it's okay. I think it's okay because his uh, his radial his his radius damage is also increased. So it's you know I think it's a slight nerf. For the good Fletcher players will be fine. Bad Fletcher players won't be able to spam nearly as much. Uh, Aura and Sparks. I'm sorry guys, but you guys will still be shit out of luck with the 85 damage. So we'll have to see where this goes. I think this is fine. For Fletcher, I'm glad they're not like completely neutering him by giving him only two sticky bombs or something because that would be terrible. Um, small steps, small steps. I'm fine with the compromise here. Fragger's HP reduced down to 140. Uh, <laughs> I haven't really noticed it. I'm curious if, the, if they will also make him faster because of the lower HP. And this kind of goes back to Thunder raised to 170. I feel it a little bit, but I don't know if it's that much of a difference just yet. Uh, not nearly as much of a difference as the concussion grenade changes. Fragger, yeah, got a slight nerf. Bushwhacker, not very exciting. Proxy, not very exciting. Though actually, Proxy's um, throw time may help with those with those suicide bombings. Now the augments, this is interesting. Augments here is quick charge. Uh, got nerfed, which is great. I think they should really bring down the top tier top tier augments just because I feel like they're so strong. They've been buffing the lower tier ones, but I feel like to kind of meet it halfway, they gotta start reducing how strong the top tier augments are. Tough is amazing now, by the way. It now is uh, the delay until health regen is now reduced by 66% as opposed to 33%. So pretty humongous. I've been noticing it a lot. It is absolutely amazing. Very, very good perk. I have a feeling it might be a little too strong. Maybe they should kind of tone it down to 50% instead of 66, but we'll have to see. Unshakable, got a nerf. Um, Reduced damage you take from explosive by 15%, reduced from 20. Small nerf, I'm curious to see how the numbers turn out, but I figured since they are introducing the perk to a lot more mercs and a lot more little cards, you know, I guess this is a reasonable nerf. Undercover, this one I praise SD4. I've been asking this from them actually for this one because I feel like too often the little cards with Undercover is really too strong on Phantom. I mean, you, you really want Undercover. So what it is now is 10% increase to ability duration down from 20%. Um, I, think this is a, I think this is great. I think this is fantastic. A lot of you guys out there loving Phantom may complain, but come on. Like, the, the Undercover cards were just too good. You always want to undercover, so now it kind of evens it out a little bit. I still think undercover loadouts are, are good, but you know you can kind of get away with not having it now. Uh, quick slash, you have increases attack speed and charge time by 15%, reduced from 25%. So, you know that's actually a perk we're seeing a lot more of. So I'm thinking they're trying to do the same thing as with Unshakable, trying to tone it down a little bit so that you know it's not so freaking ridiculous and everyone has quick slash. So, yeah. <laughs> these notes are these patch notes aren't too bad. Uh, mostly good news, exception of Thunder, poor guy. And uh, the last thing I want to talk about would be the notable bug fixes. There's a lot of them. Thank you so much for fixing bugs. I feel like it's something that we as players complain about a lot. You know, there's a lot of bugs in Dirty Bomb. Probably will be a lot more bugs in Dirty Bomb. You know, that's just 
the simple fact of game making, I'm sure. It's just, you know, whenever you guys fix bugs, it's not often that we see the same amount of happiness and gratitude, I guess, as we would see negativity from these bugs originally. So, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of want to give you guys a little bit of appreciation for fixing all of these or attempting to fix a lot of these. So, yeah. Um, not hating on complaining on bugs, by the way. You guys keep complaining about bugs because that's how we make a Dirty Bomb better. That's how we make Dirty Bomb great again. <laughs> Oh god, did I just really say that? Anyways, uh, I think that's just about it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative, found it entertaining, and yeah, I guess until next time guys, I'll see you in the next one.